All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Apparently, Texas Weed Whacker Massacre is going on right in front of my house. So, sorry about the sound. Listen, guys, if you, not even if you follow my channel, just in general, if you're looking for video game related stuff, you're not going to find it here. So, go ahead and turn it off besides a size comparison of this monstrosity. Um, if you do follow my channel, you know I'm at Goodwill. I live at Goodwill, basically. And... I not only pick up video game stuff, I also pick up some really cool items that I would like to share with you guys and specifically electronic items. So this is what we have here guys, Sony Disk Explorer 200. I've never seen one of these out in the wild. I've never seen anything like it out in the wild before. So was super happy to pick this up, paid $24.99 for it. Now. We'll go over all the buttons. I don't know too much. I did a little bit of research on this uh, online, but there's still a lot of... This, this is the type of thing you definitely need an instruction manual. I already downloaded one to my phone. I just haven't looked at it yet. But let's go ahead and turn it on. See what it does. Oh, and by the way, let's do this first. Size comparison. So this thing is 19 inches by 17 inches by 7. This is... Far and away, the largest piece of equipment I have. And I have four Laserdisc players, and they're not even close to as big as this. So here's a little bit of a size comparison. A GameCube on top of it. Yeah, it's big. 23 pounds. It's quite the sight, guys. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. And what it'll do when it turns on, it'll search through all 200 disc slots to see if there's a DVD in there. And then it'll go right back to disc one and it'll say no disc. Then on your screen there, insert disc. So we have The Witch, which is one of my favorite horror movies in the past 10 years. Hit the open button here. And then it'll go, the carousel will flip, uh, spin around, and it'll go to the one slot. We'll go ahead and put in, we'll put it in like 194 somewhere, so it spins all the way around. All right, we're going to go ahead and close that up. And it's going to search for that DVD. And it's in the 195th slot that cool blue lighting. I don't know if that's indigo. There's also an amber light on this one right here. I really don't know what this is. It says easy play. I'm not sure on that one. So there it goes. It recognized the, uh, the DVD and there it starts right there. All right. Well, that's, uh, I want to show you something else with that. While that's going to, um, you know, past all the credits and all that stuff, we'll, uh, we'll go over the buttons on this thing. So, down here you can open this up by the way I do not have the remote control for this go ahead and open this up I'm gonna pause and turn the TV down just a little bit all right so on this you can see you have folders here folder a B C D and then below that you have folder all folder DVD folder CD. I can't remember if I mentioned that to you. So it plays DVD, CD, and video CD. So here's the model number. And I can't see it the way the light is, the way it's lit. Uh, it looks like DVP CX 850D. Okay, back to the buttons. So then you have file, sort, Shuffle, program, repeat, edit, load, uh, time, text, what does that say? One all disk, clear. And you have some more buttons over here. DVD menu, titles, display, return. There's a jog. And what else we... So we mentioned this, it says easy play. Now something that's really cool about this, look, 
it has a keyboard connection. So again, I haven't done too much research on this, but so I'm assuming that keyboard is for typing in movie names, genres, because you can organize this thing, I believe, where it doesn't just say disc one, it'll say, you can put disc one, Rocky part three, or uh, you can set things into subcategories on these files where you have horror movies, uh, comedies. So really cool. I mean, it truly is a disc management system. And um, yeah, so that's just, I just find that unique about that keyboard part. You can put any kind of cheap keyboard in there. It doesn't have to be Sony, obviously. You got some more stuff over here. Direct search, disc change. You got previous and next. So now what I do see out in the wild a lot is the ones that play music CDs. And I got one right over here. I've actually purchased two in the past, I don't know, few years. I see those on the regular guys. I do not see these ever. So really cool, unique pickup. The ones that I do see are the ones that play um, how do I explain like a carousel not a carousel not like this carousel the ones that lay flat down and it's like a, a circle and you can fit five DVDs on it I think it's like five or six I see those all the time they kind of look like laser disc players um, I see those on the regular I, I literally see those every day I walk into a Goodwill what you do not see is DVD systems like this that play DVDs a hundred 200 I mean 150 you just don't see it um, so man super excited about picking this up I need to get the remote control for it another cool thing that I that I found on this that you don't see usually with DVD players usually the screen will turn blue when you press the stop button let's see what it does when you press pause so if you press pause it just holds on to where it's at which that's you know that's nothing special but if you press stop It'll actually show you a screenshot of the movie, kind of like it would do on Netflix. I don't know. I just I found that kind of cool as well. Um, so, yeah, it has a built-in Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound encoder. And, um, and it's not much else to say about it, man. It's just a really cool piece of electronic equipment. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm liking it. So... Let's go ahead and, uh, not that I have this hooked up to any speakers or anything, but turn this up a little bit. If you understand that, you understand everything. You want to choke me so bad? Help me! Come on, help me! What are you looking for? The truth. So hooked up to some speakers. This thing will sound really nice. Um, all right, so flip that back up. And then, so if you open this back up or you press stop, see it says you can resume it, hit stop again. So it's title 36. We'll go ahead and open it up. And this thing should spin until it's right in front of you where you can pick it up and get it out of there. It's going to be fun loading this thing up with 200 DVDs. So there you go. Take that baby out. Close it. Doing it search again. Back to disc one. Turn it off. Power off. That's it. All right, guys. So that's it. That's. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the Disc Explorer 200 DVD management system. All right, guys. Talk to you later.